the Government of Mongolia, and the Governor's Office of Whole School of IMAG, United Nations Children's Fund presents the Child Friendly Community Program. I am delighted to share a few introductory remarks to this video, documenting the progress on child friendly governance in Whole School IMAG in the context of the cooperation between UNICEF and the Government of Mongolia. This video is the evidence that making an IMAC child friendly is possible and that children, adolescents and youth, those we call Mongolia's new generations, can become a policy and programmatic priority and part of a veritable development vision. With this video we want to tell a story, a story of commitment of local government in putting children at the centre of development planning, policy making and investment decisions. When children become such a policy priority and actions and decisions are inspired by them, we can talk about child-friendly government. In just four years of partnership with UNICEF, Whose School IMAC made a remarkable shift towards creating child-friendly policies and services, resulting in better outcomes for children. Let me give an example. Improved maternal and child mortality and morbidity indicators were, were, were achieved, including better growth monitoring, increased access to early childhood and basic education, but also increase educational facility with better water and sanitation services, changing attitudes towards child protection, improve skills of specialists and caregivers. These results were achieved with determination and commitment, and also clarity on the right priorities. The child-friendly investment of local development fund has increased from 8.8% .8 in 2013 to 22.5% in 2015, and in 2015, the total of 475 million tugrits were devoted to expansion and improvement of early childhood education services. This video shows promising pilot initiatives in different areas, and some of them have been tested and evaluated and ready to be scaled up nationwide. This is what we do in UNICEF. We provide support to local authorities, selected IMAS and districts to develop child-friendly plan strategies and budget, while we also work at central level to ensure that uh, policy, systems, budget and norms are ready to scale up to promising approaches. I travel those places, I travel those zooms, through rough roads and remote valleys and plains. I saw the commitment and I saw the potential of telling a powerful story. A nice story for children, a nice story for Mongolia, a story we want to tell you. I want to thank Governor Erden Batar, the Who School Head of Governor Office Tumur Batar, and all department heads of who's called IMA government for their leadership and commitment to write this beautiful story of progress for children. UNICEF is proud to be part of it. And I hope that through this video, you will enjoy and you will feel the same energy we do. Child-Friendly Governance. During the sunny summer season, usual work in the countryside begins with grazing and milking the herds and preparing dairy products. The fresh smell of dairy food and drink spreads from every door. <coughs> Ugan Bayer, a young herder from Sagan Ur Som in the whole school of IMAG, has two preschool aged children. There is no one to look after the children, he says. They cannot delay the farm chores such as grazing and milking the herds and preparing dairy products. So they try to do everything on time. Our work begins from early morning and lasts to late evening. We leave our older child at home, carry our little one and do our work. The four of us live here, my husband and my two children. We cannot spend much time with our children. We have so much work that makes us almost forget our children. Just like Ugan Bayer and Biyam Basuran, there are many parents who cannot take good care and give proper attention to their children in Urbag and Sagan Ur Som. So together, they have decided to resolve this problem. We would prefer the wooden house kindergarten instead of a gear kindergarten. It will be very helpful for us if we send our children to kindergarten during the summertime. Citizens invited the governor of the Somme and the preschool principal and expressed their opinions on running a kindergarten for three months during the summer. In the summer, schools and kindergartens are usually closed. This is, however, the time when herders' children are most in need of preschool education. 
What the Herder parents wanted was to run the kindergarten for not only 21 days, but for three months in summer. Following the Herder's request, we explained our situation to the parents. If we resolve the issue of the kindergarten building, we can continue working for three months. Parents agree that it is essential for each community to have its own kindergarten in a wooden house because the country has a heavy rainfalls in summer. In order to get the support and financing from the local development fund, every Bag community unanimously prioritized the building of kindergarten facilities during local development fund community ranking process. Therefore, the local authorities, including some citizens represent the Horal or local parliament, highly supported this proposal. Both schools IMAG aims to become a child-friendly IMAG, and children's issues are reflected in all its policy decisions and planning. An IMAG resolution states that at least 10% of local development fund must be spent for children. With the local citizens' initiative and participation, Sagan Ur Soms Ur Bog finally has a kindergarten building financed through the Som Local Development Fund. How is your holiday? Very good, and yours? Goodbye, my son. Okay, let's come inside. Hello, how is your holiday, teacher? Oh, it was good. How's yours? Bye bye, mommy will pick up you later. I have two kids. One is four and another is six. Having my children go to kindergarten during the days makes my work easier. This kindergarten has very important role in our children's development. Urbag has a durable, comfortable kindergarten building for children aged 2 to 6 who live in remote areas and were not previously able to access preschool. The motivation and participation of parents in decision making has increased. With the support of the United Nations Children's Fund, our kindergarten has got teaching materials, books and toys. This helps a lot in our educational activities. Involving Herder's children in summer kindergarten provides them with equal opportunities to get proper preschool education, which is a great investment. It is also helpful for young herders in the animal husbandry work. Therefore, parents support our activities and have requested to operate kindergarten for all three months of summer. Extending the duration gives children better opportunities to learn and even more. Kindergarten buildings were constructed in other somes and bogs of the whole school of IMEG. The aim of these kindergartens is to ensure every child of preschool age is enrolled in education and is supported during their critical developmental stage. In order to become a citizen-friendly community, we aim to meet the needs for growth, education, and development of every child. Therefore, we listen to local people's views and realize their initiatives through local governance. On the basis of their initiatives, we built three community-based kindergartens last year with the investment of the SOM Local Development Fund. This initiative enables our children to have preschool education in their proximity and can be also used for other community activities. Gare kindergartens are not convenient because heavy rainfalls are common in our region. Comparing with the Gare kindergarten, wooden house kindergartens are more comfortable. We are working to have model wooden house kindergartens in our region. Now we are working to improve the kindergarten's outdoor area. As part of the Child Friendly Community Initiative, research on living conditions of children in Sagan Ur Som found that there are 14 kids living in households with a single parent. The local administration got endorsement from the local community to help them. Thanks to possibilities provided in the local development and social welfare funds, now eight families received houses and six families are building their own houses. One of them is Bold Bathar, who has two sons. The older one is in the sixth grade of school and the younger one is in the third grade. Bold Bathar used to heavily drink alcohol and lived under very poor conditions, without shelter for him and his family. They used to move from one place to another but now with the help of friends, relatives, and local government, he has his own home to live in. I kept renting people's houses and cares. Thanks to the kind-hearted local people, I have a place to live in. 
I am very happy now. Part of human kindness is to help those in need. Local people gave support and inspiration to him to stand on his feet. Moreover, now his two little kids are able to live and grow in a comfortable and safe environment. We're going to have a new home. Me and my brother are helping to build our house. My brother collects wood chips and I collect stones. My friends help me as well. Similar to this example, other children's living conditions and environments are improving. This is a result of comprehensive activities and studies for children. These took place in every som and bog of the whole school to IMED. Saga Nor Som resolves all child-related issues based on the data and studies. As part of the Child-Friendly Community Program, our SOM appointed a multidisciplinary child protection team last March and started activities. Within this framework, we also created a common database for children aged 0 to 18 and conducted a survey with 20 questionnaires. By doing this survey, we now have a better picture of the living conditions of our children. We also identified issues regarding parental employment, how many percent of them have jobs, how many of them are herders, reindeer herders, and how many of them are unemployed. We have also identified unknown children with disabilities. Citizens of the whole school of IMAG are initiating many activities to understand and respect children's rights and to create a better environment for their present and future well-being. From our budget revenue, the Tariathan Som spends 1.5 to 2 million tugriks to enable children's participation at the, in the Olympics at the IMAG level and 3 million tugriks for children who take the first three places in the national level Olympics, sports and arts festivals. At first, every bog wanted to spend their local development fund on improving their livelihood. In the first two years, we have spent much on building fences and wells for every bog. But now, we are spending our budget on resolving social issues of local people, children and youth. During four years of implementing a child-friendly community program, we have made a big difference with the support from the United Nations Children's Fund. Now, we are able to pay proper attention to our youths and children and design programs. Here it is considered to be a big change. So wherever we go, we talk about children's issues. Thus, at every level, mindset and behaviors are changing. Now most homes in whole school spend 30 to 60% of local development funds on children. For making policy decisions on child-friendly services, it is important to have not only parents' views, but also children's own involvement in decision-making. Every second Thursday of the month, Tariathan Som organizes a children's panel where they listen to children in the Citizen Hall. I was very nervous when I first gave speech in front of many people. I was afraid. I used to forget everything I wanted to say when I looked at older people's eyes. But now it has changed. Now I know exactly how to express my opinion, such as what issues we have at school, what is going wrong, and what issues are to be resolved. I started to work hard for resolving these problems and started to express my opinions. Moreover, our school children have become very active and they have acquired good communication skills. Compared to past times, children have become very different in expressing their thoughts and ideas. Also, we had old-fashioned attitudes towards children. By treating them as equals and having close conversations about their problems, children have started talking more openly. According to the Community Consultation on the Local Development Fund's 2015 budget, most people wanted to have a bus for children. This is very useful, particularly during the vacation, to drive kids to their homes or to give a ride during activities organized at IMEG Center. 
Therefore, our citizens agreed to address this issue with the funding of the Local Development Fund and announced a bid for procurement. In the winter, many school children go to the Amex Center to participate in the Olympics. We have difficulties to find a vehicle to take them, so we approached our Sum government. The AMA government decided to provide 3 million tukras for vehicle. Also, this year, they resolved the restroom issue. Our bathroom was outside and we used to get very cold when we went there during the break and teacher criticized us for staying long outside. But now we have an indoor restroom. It has become easy to use the restroom and to wash our hands. Thank you very much for resolving this problem. By 2016, Hoskoth IMAG aims to become a child-friendly IMAG and is working step-by-step step to achieve this goal. Every single SOM, BOG, local organization and citizen is taking part to implement this program and to make children's issues a development priority. <laughs> We formulated and are implementing the core issues of child-friendly governments in four steps. First, we have been integrating child-related issues and policies in the policy documents of Hofskul IMAC. This is a major work. Within the IMAC Governor's Action Plan for 2014 to 2016, Citizen-Friendly IMAC program is being implemented. This program also includes a chapter on child-friendly IMAC. Under this program, many children's issues are to be resolved. For example, 215 activities, or 37.4% out of 538 planned activities, are dedicated to children. We are incorporating child-friendly investment as the second core issue. Children's issues were considered during sessions of the Citizens' Representative Hall of the IMAG. Citizens' Representative Hall or IMAG Parliament issued Order 36. According to this order, at least 10% of the local development fund will be spent on investment to support development of children in the IMAG. The governors of all SOM shall implement the order released by IMAC Citizens Representative Horl. The negligent attitude of it's only a child has already been forgotten among the people of Holskol. Wherever we go, people start talking about children, about their education, opportunities, and how to improve their conditions. The whole school of IMAG is working hard to fulfill their goals for the well-being of their children. <laughs>